Hey everyone, happy Friday Eve. Okay, so I am inserting this intro now, kind of like before the video that I filmed earlier, so it's pretty much Pulp Fiction. I'm pretty much Quentin Tarantino and we're splicing and dicing this up and you're gonna have to figure it out later. Not really. Yes, this is my first video I'm filming with my brand new camera and after I filmed it, I realized that I was having a major malfunction and basically this is not gonna be like a camera review, but I have to kind of like put this disclaimer on this video because I'm not gonna toss the video and I'm not gonna refilm it if I was like super serious about YouTube or like, you know, took myself really seriously, I'd probably toss it and try to refilm it. But I really don't think it's that crucial and I think if I can explain it, you guys will understand and forgive me, hopefully, maybe, please. It was basically like the lens that I got with my camera. When it autofocused, it made treacherous noises. Like there was a little rat inside my camera that was trying to break out of a little rat jail and it was like scratching and chewing and clawing and acting crazy and it was really noisy and it definitely interfered with my video. I'm going to try to edit it out as much as I can but I just ran out and bought a different lens that I read about online that's supposed to help and like not be so noisy and horrible. So we're gonna try this one out. That's the one I'm filming on now. Maybe I'll talk with you guys more about this later. Maybe I can do like a camera review or something. I mean, I'm so like inexperienced and like no knowledge over here at all. I just like do what I can. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, I'm like, ugh, I hate life. I'm trying not to make this intro very long, but basically I just wanted to give you a disclaimer that I was having technical difficulties and I hope you can forgive me and in the future it will not be like that. Now I'm going to cut to the video that I filmed earlier and everything's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. Hey everyone! So yes, this is my very first video filming with my new camera and I'm in the other room because for the life of me I could not figure out how to make it work in my other room and I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do you guys like I was not prepared for this like I Instagrammed a picture when I got it and I was like whoo so excited I'm really nervous I'm not gonna know how to use it and unfortunately that was a prediction of the future I totally don't know how to use it I definitely think you can pretty much learn anything you want to learn if you really want to learn it so I will get a handle on it. So right now I'm in front of Windows, so I don't know if that's um, the least flattering thing I could have chosen, but it's what we're doing. If you didn't see my Instagram, I got the uh, Canon T4i, and I don't know if you have that camera or if you know of some kind of like helpful site I can look at or whatever, please comment down below and let me know because I'm like helpless and alone and like I need a life alert. You know those things. Anyway, okay, so what we're really here for today is not to cry about my not knowing how to use cameras or things that I need to know how to use, but we're going to do a really quick outfit of the day video. I'm going to do my civil duties and I'm going to go early vote. I tried to figure it out before I started filming. Unfortunately, I didn't totally figure it out. I know there are different times and dates and whatever in different states for early voting and absentee voting and all that business and I'm positive you can easily access that information in your state and it's probably common knowledge you could like ask your grandma or your brother or whatever and they'll probably know that's usually the kind of thing that I do. I'm doing my early voting and I'm not going to try to like make some kind of political video or whatever. I'll leave that up to um, pretty much everyone else or everyone else like on Twitter and Facebook and whatever. It's like constantly consuming you and like your whole feed is just like rah, 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 rah. not going to do that to you. I was just going to do an outfit of the day and in my own way kind of encourage you to engage and if you were like gonna blow off voting or whatever encourage you to go do that if you can't do early voting obviously you just need to show up on election day it's probably gonna be much more of a pain but you gotta do what you gotta do I'm just gonna stop there and 
not turn into your mother about it. So yeah, let's look at the outfit. Just start with the hair. I did my hair using my hot rollers. I kind of forgot about hot rollers for like the longest time, but then the last couple of times I've done my hair, I've been using them and I really like them. It gives like a whole different look somehow. I should probably do a tutorial with curlers next. Tell me if you want to see that uh, down below. This video is going on so long because I'm like in a different place. I'm like disoriented. I'm like, ah, I just want to talk forever. That doesn't make any sense, but oh well. All right, so I'm going to scooch up the camera and try to show you my makeup. On my lips, I just have a Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. These things used to be like my everything. Like I use these all the time. I think I got this one like a year ago and it's called Pearl Plum. Hello. I'm wearing Flora by Gucci. Love this one. I talked about it in my Sephora favorite slash giveaway video. My nails are my Halloween nails, but they are like going down like the Titanic. I was in like a crazy rush and when I'm really rushed, I like, I don't know, I go crazy and I'm like a little wild animal and my claws get all kinds of busted. One of my nails looks so tragic. Like I have to change them today, they look so bad. But I did an Instagram when they still looked good, so I'll insert that here. And because I'm shameless, I'll show you how they look right now. Hey. And obviously I use the Sally Hansen Salon Effects. The name is Batty for you. And for my Tri Accent Middle Nail, I use the Milani One Coat Glitter and the Wet n Wild Wild Shine in Black Cream. I love my Batty nails. My Batty nails are amazing. Do you guys remember the movie Fern Gully? Fern Gully like defined my childhood. Not really. I wasn't like a super environmentalist child, but I actually won like the VHS tape. Like I probably still have it. I'm pretty sure I still have it. I won it in a coloring contest. No joke. This really happened. It's a coloring contest at the grocery store Kroger. I don't know if they have that like all over the US, but they definitely have them in Texas still. I won out of like a million entries and I was like, I think three years old or something like that. And I got the VHS and I got the poster and I had the poster up in my room for like my whole childhood. And I was so into it. And if you've never seen Ferngully, I want to say it's on Netflix. I'm not really sure. Pretty epic childhood movie, if you wanted to know. And Batty was a bat, and his voice was Robin Williams, and he did this rap, and it was so amazing. If you wanted to know anything about how I was as a child, it was probably heavily influenced by the Batty character. That was a random tangent. Let's look at the rest of the outfit. Oh no, I forgot to talk about jewelry. I have my uh, Target little arrowhead earrings. I don't think you can see them from here. I apologize. I also have my little deco bolo necklace. I got it a long, long time ago from Jewel Mint and I never like got into the whole Jewel Mint thing, so I'm not like telling you to do that, but they did send me a few items like forever ago and this was one of them and the other necklace broke, so there's that, but this one has stayed good and I still really, really like it. It's like my little, I'm a Texas lady, but it's like kind of still cool and like, I don't know if it's cool, but I like it. You see what I mean? Yes, no, maybe? All right, so I put on my little blazy blaze. I got this blazer last year at Nordstrom and it's like perma scrunched. I'm all about the scrunching of the sleeves. This ring is from Lucky. This ring is like a stacker ring from Gojane and it has a twin sister that is supposed to go on this part of the finger. But for some reason, I don't know where it is and I'm so heartbroken and I love those little guys but it is from Gojane so that means it was like a dollar so I can always get another one. This is my Mark by Mark Jacobs watch. Back to the blazy blaze. It's gray, it's cute, it's kind of cool because it has like this little like almost like a tuxedo jacket kind of vibe. And I just have kind of a white t-shirt underneath. It's a v-neck from American Eagle, no big deal. I love these t-shirts. Now for the pants. Okay, these are my new kind of purpley maroon oxblood skinny jeans. And yes, I have to do that little shimmy when I talk about them. I saved this little thing because I was gonna do a haul, but then I didn't do a haul, I'm sorry. They're from Cotton On. I had never been there before and I don't know, I think I'm obsessed. 
they're like a semi high rise well they're kind of like a high rise for me because I'm used to like low pants I don't hate what the butt looks like which is very good let's look at the shoes they're by halogen I got them at Nordstrom earlier this fall I put them in a fall haul do you see what's going on here there's this cute little ankle strap that unfortunately does not show in this outfit, but I don't know, it shows in some outfits. Whoa! <laughs> Safety first, everyone. This is kind of my almost kind of grown up casual look. Are you proud of me? You should be. Forgive me if I've had like technical errors and I'm completely unaware at this point, but it's a new camera and you'll have to bear with me. Hopefully things will get better. Cross your fingers with me, people. Back to the point of this whole video, go vote. It's important. The first time I was eligible to vote, I didn't because I was a slacker and I was like, I don't care. Government is a conspiracy, which I kind of still think, but I totally shouldn't have said that. But I do think that you should go vote because it's, it's worth a try, right? Anyway, I feel like I'm totally ruining it, but I'm just encouraging you to go vote. Just go do it even if you feel like maybe you're too lazy. Do it. All right, so I guess that's it. Um, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, comment down below. You can also hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. On Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Leanne Says. And on Twitter, it's at Leanne Says. You can also find me on Instagram and Tumblr. That's Leanne Says there and there. Links are all down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Poor life alert people. Or whatever. I even totally forgot to say, because I'm so flustered about this new camera. Happy Friday Eve. Anyway. Oh, totally falling down on the job over here. But, I don't know, I said it looked like a little frog. I have no idea what my hair is doing, so I apologize. This is so all over the place. And I don't even know what's going on, but anyway, without like, I don't even know. There's a plane, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I have no idea if I'm in focus and I'm really worried about it. Can't really go wrong, right? I mean, I guess you could, but I'm not going wrong. Okay, um, I feel like I'm under a microscope. I don't even know. It smells so delicious. I'm not very good at explaining smells unless they're like written on a card in front of me. Um, it just smells so good and I love it so much. And this is definitely one of the pricey ones. I mean, you can find a million great